cooking show. <laughs> hey, good looking. What you got cooking? Cooking up good food. What are y'all? Pobla, pobla me. Pobla, pobla me. Pobla, pobla me. Pobla, pobla me. One more time. Pobla, pobla me. Pobla, pobla me. Pobla, pobla me. Pobla, pobla me. Oh, pobla, black fella, what are you? <laughs> Hello everybody, it's me, Mary D, mind you. And I'm here sitting in Derby, mind you, under the big boab tree called the Five Finger Lady, or something like that anyway. And I'm sitting here with Gordon Marshall, mind you, a local identity here in the town of Derby. And Gordon, how are you, my baby? I'm great, Mary, yes. You're great? Yes, great. Is that all just great? Um, well, even better for seeing you again. Of course. All the men say that. <laughs> Gordon's one of my leftovers, one of my darlings, you know, and a uh, long time ago we used to frolic in the mud, didn't we? Yeah, out in the marsh. Yeah, on the marsh, yeah. When we used to have mud fights. Yes, when the tide used to come right in. Yeah, that's right. Well, that was, a, that was a long time ago. And since then, we've moved on. Gordon, what have you done with your life? Well, since then, Mary, I've moved on. I've uh, worked out on the, went out in the cattle station. I've been a stockman. Mm. I've been in the army. I've been in the police force for 23 years. And now I've got my own radio show and I'm doing radio here at 60BY in Derby Town. Oh, that's fantastic. Working in the cattle uh, industry, did you eat much cattle meat? Oh, uh, yeah, very. Um, what do you reckon? My God, have mercy. Yeah, it's bursting. <laughs> yeah, was it legal beef or yes. illegal beef? Oh, no, illegal beef, Mary. I was working out on the cattle station. Yeah? Yes. My uh, God, have mercy. And, and what, did, what did you do out there? Um, muster cattle, mm -hmm. um, you know, for the, the cattle industry, we used to um, go out into the bush and camp out doing mustering and mm -hmm. bring the cattle back into the station and put them on um, t cattle trucks and they'd you know, transport them into Broome Meatworks. That's when Broome had a meatworks, but they don't have one there anymore. Do you eat much of the meat? Or was uh, it against you know, the law I, to eat, no, what do they call it? Cattle rustling? Cattle rustling. Did you ever no. eat cattle rustle? No, Mary, those things um, wouldn't be right to say those things. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, anyway, he didn't, he didn't do things like no, that. that's right, But, but you were a great horseman. Yes, I, I, I wouldn't be great. There was a lot of greater horsemen, but yeah. I've, I've, I've held my own on the, on yeah. the saddle. I feel sorry for the horse today. <laughs> Look at this, my God have mercy. Yeah. And so from, from cattle industry, you came back into town and then you, you went off into the army. Yes, when well, I came back. Well, I, the reason I came back is that I got called up for national service. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, came back in. What rank did you get to? Um, just a fr private first class. Yeah, mm. oh, a first class private. Yeah. Oh my God, would you like to see my private? <laughs> what are you? Different type yeah. of private, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah now, when know. I was a private too once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm still private, in yeah. fact. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got my private residence, my private car, yeah. my private himself, you know, yeah. like that. Yeah. Mm. Uh, no, that's... So did you enjoy your experience in the, in the forces? Yes, uh, I did. Um, uh, it was a great experience for me, you know, Mary, and back in, uh, back in before I joined uh, National Service, before I was called up, uh, we were wild, you know, we ran wild. Yeah. Uh, in the Kimberleys, and uh, we were quite well. S slowed me down a lot, taught me uh, a lot of things about life, and uh, you know to to go further in this this um, you know the way we are going now into the future. Yeah, it it kept me in good stead. Yeah. maybe I should say. Yeah. Now, Gordon, when you was a police officer, there's always been this history of um, Aboriginal and police relations. It hasn't been a positive relationship historically. Um, do you think you've contributed um, to a good relationship between Aboriginal and uh, the police force, being a police officer? Um, it, was, it was hard when I first started, Mary. Um, but I'd like to think that I did make a difference, um, you know, wherever uh, the towns I've been posted at and, and work with the Indigenous people and the non-Indigenous people and the police in the, in the, in the towns that I've actually been uh, working in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I never uh, told you this, but um, when I first joined in Geraldton, there was an old sergeant there, mm -hmm. real old bushy, used to be out in Sandstone. and. Um, uh, first day, he actually gave me, um, you know, my first uniform to put on, and he said to me, "What size was it?" 
when he small Mary, I was a I was a pretty fit and healthy young fella then. Yeah. Yeah. Because because uh, someone told me a rumor. In fact, I think it might have been you. Because I asked, why is most police officers they they start off nice and skinny, and then they get bigger and bigger. Oh yeah, they and, do, Mary. And yeah. there's a reason for that. There is a reason. Yeah. Because they they give you a shirt a size bigger than what you are. To, so you can fill it and become bulky. Yeah, that's so right. So they, they kept giving me bigger, they gave me two sizes too big yeah. instead of one. So you got to keep filling the shirt. Yes. Yeah, and then you become sergeant. That's, a, that's how it works, doesn't that's it? That's how it works. Yeah, but you never made it there. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> My God. And alcohol has it's been, it's a problem in society right across Australia, everywhere, mind you. But uh, in the Kimberley here, or say in Derby, do you find there was a big alcohol problem here back in the, in the 70s and 80s? And has there been a great change in the community? There's a lot of changes in the community, Mary. And alcohol has been a problem with the, the different types of um, licensees hours, um, you know, with the Sunday sessions having the two, you know, and encourage binge drinking. But now the people have, are really looking to um, drink lighter beer and we're encouraging, you know, I've, I've encouraged them as a, as a police officer to make sure that they, you know, drink less and eat healthy food. Um, there's been a change in understanding of eating healthy food nowadays. There has a lot, uh, and uh, even our Derby Aboriginal Health Service, have, um, they've got a, a section that looks after how you know they get a, uh, someone in to talk about healthy food, and mm -hmm. they go out to the communities, out to Mounjum, uh, out to Pandanas. They've got a, a you know a woman there that comes in and a dietitian, and they mm -hmm. talk to people about healthy food, and. Um, you know, just to get them to be able to eat healthy. Yeah. But uh, you know, you're talking about the alcohol problem. There is a, 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 a was a big one, but now we, um, I've noticed since the um, alcohol, uh, uh, the light beer came in. You know, yeah. a lot of um, Indigenous people now are turning to light beer, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, not there's not so much family violence in that. Yeah in the home, mm -hmm. and uh, but we are, what we want to do is trying to get them to eat healthy food. Yeah. They gotta eat healthy food, it's good for you. You know, five mm -hmm. veggies, two yeah. fruit, bit of fiber, plenty of water, mm -hmm. and that, that's the way to go. Do you eat good food? I'm eating good food now, Mary, and- uh, What about the five? Yes, you have, you've got to have the five of you know, veggies. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. it's what is it, um, three veggies and two fruits or something like yes, that? Something yeah. like that, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's very good for you, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. You know why? Because well, if you eat it, it just straight out at yeah. the other end, see? But if you're eating a lot of meat... They stay in there. You must sit and squeeze a lot of times, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's got to, it accumulates in your stomach yeah, and, it, yeah. and it's got a rut and stuff like that. Yeah. As, as uh, fruit and vegetables, it goes into your system and it comes out naturally, naturally you know? Naturally, yeah. But, you know, I mean, I don't know if you've been out there, but um, to, to sit in, on a toilet seat, sit there and just, and just let it flow is, is a natural thing and a good thing for you. But yeah. if you're going to sit there and... Mm, mm, Mm. You know, that's, that's, it's bad for you. No, yeah. That, that's a sign that if yeah. you've got to squeeze, then you're blocked up. Yeah, and yeah. it could cause damage somewhere else. So. <laughs> Your elastic could break. <laughs> you wanna, yeah. Uh, yeah. Have yeah. you ever experienced that, squeezing? No, man, I don't think we should talk about okay. that. <laughs> we'll drop the subject there, mind you. But healthy food is very important. Do you cook healthy food for you and your family? Um, when I do, Mary, yes. Uh, I mean, I used to eat, uh, well, I thought I used to eat a lot of health, but I think I ate too much meat, so we need to get into our diet more fish and chicken. Mm -hmm. Have you been eating cockle? The cockle shell from the beach, yeah. No, the cockle between my legs. Good idea. <laughs> So it's white meat, isn't it? It's, 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 it's white meat is good for you. White meat, all types of fish is really good for you. But chicken is good too, isn't it? Oh, chicken is great, yeah. yeah. You know, chicken and chicken and meat, uh, fish. And this is salmon season now, so people should be going out and getting a lot of salmon now. Yeah, you that's know, right. While, the, while we got the southeast wind blowing. Yeah, especially up here in the north. I mean, oh, fishing yeah. is, is, is so it's much a, fish. Mm. Um, barramundi, threadfin salmon, and yeah, um, blue, blue bone, and all sorts of fish, yeah. isn't it? There's a great variety. And just out of Derby, if you've got a boat, you can go out 23 kilometres, you're in blue water, and you can get the, the reef fish, which is really Which reminds good. me, when are you going to take me? Uh, whenever you give the word, Mary, the boat's fueled up and ready to go. Just for me? Just for you. Can we make love on the boat? There's plenty of room. Hi. Yeah. Do we need a lot of room? <laughs> uh, what are I going to say? <laughs> 
bloody <laughs> eh? <laughs> now, we're going to do a, um, uh, a demonstration of, of um, some great food, and one of them is, of course, um, um, stir-fry chicken or chicken stir-fry, and yeah. whatever the terminology mm. is appropriate for it. But yeah. I, I think um, chicken is a fantastic meat, and, um, and of course, you know, with, with uh, vegetables in it, um, it's a fantastic and a very healthy meal. It is, and you know, um, chicken also you got to cook, you know, cook, cook it well, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really good for you. It's good meat. It's white meat, isn't it? It's white meat. Yeah. And they call it what? They call it what kind of meat? Lean. Yeah. You know, good. You got to let the countryman know. Countryman, you got to know that chicken and fish is good for you with lots of veggie. Yes. Good food, good meat, white meat, mind you. Don't eat. That. Look at this. That's the result <laughs> of pig. What else? Dugong? Dugong. Turtle? What else? Beef? Yeah, beef. Yeah. Camel? Monkey? Yeah. <laughs> You've been eating all sorts of rubbish, what are you? <laughs> yeah. No, that's not true. Gordon's on a healthy diet, and we're going to look at um, chicken stir fry. What do you reckon? I think that's great, Mary. We should do it. Well, 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 what do we got here, Gordon? Mary, we got some great stuff to make a chicken stir fry. Mm -hmm. We've got chicken. Carrots, onions, a bit of celery, a bit of capsicum, bean sprouts, chili, and mm. best of all, spices. Beautiful. And what, this is not good? No, that's not good for you, Mary. You can get rid of that. We don't, yeah. yeah. Chocolate's good for you, cold drink, chips, too oh, much yeah. sugar, and salt. It's bad for you. That's it's bad for you. This yeah. is what's good for you, Mary. Do we very need healthy. This? So we're going to start and do the chicken. Mm -hmm. Chicken, and that's very lean meat, that's isn't it? That's lean meat, yeah. lean yeah. white meat. So we're going to get the chicken into the, into the, uh, so we got our chicken. Mm-hmm. And you got no oil in the frying pan. Mary, you don't need oil. This is a non-stick pan, oh. uh, which is uh, really good. Nothing sticks some, to it? No, nothing sticks to it. Some, some uh, oils are good for you, but mm -hmm. in this case, if you use a non-stick pan, a non-stick pan will will work every time, but you don't need to have all that oil. So we put Fantastic. in Fantastic. I didn't know. And put the carrots in. Put the orange ones, mind you, yeah, yes. the rabbit food, yeah. The rabbit food. Yeah. Put the carrots in. Oops. Carrots are... Oops. And then the onions. And you prepared all the, all the vegetables already, haven't you? Yes, Mary, we yeah. uh, prepared it all. Oh, I can it. hear it sizzling. Isn't that great? Yeah. And just give it a bit of a stir. That's mm -hmm. why they call it stir fry. Ah, oh, because you stir it when you're frying it. <laughs> what a, uh, yeah. uh, I'll cut a bit more of this for you. Yes, Mary, yeah. get a little bit more yeah. celery. Greens, in. yeah. A bit of greens. Yeah. Where did you learn cooking like this? Uh, you learn a long time when you're growing up, you know, in a big family. Yeah. And uh, everyone takes turns cooking. Mum ah. was a good cook. And yeah. So you learn from your mum? Yes. Yeah. Don't we all learn from our mum? We do, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And it looks like it looks um, very rich colours, you know? Oh, beautiful yeah. colours. Where do we put the rest of the colours in? Oh, uh, just give that a minute or two to um, see her a bit. The white meat is starting to cook now. Yes. The chicken okay. meat, yeah. And actually, I can smell it too. You can, yeah. Yeah. It's really, really great, man. This, this is why chicken is really good for you. And cooking it as a stir fry without oil in the pan, mm -hmm. non stick pan. You must remember, non stick. Yeah. But I remember we used to cook with a lot of oil when we were kids. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't know. But now we're much the wiser, aren't we? Yeah. We are, and, and we're learning more about nutritious food all the time. Yeah, and, and, and of course, vegetables is a very important part of um, the body, it the, is. The, the diet, isn't it? Yeah, it is really great, mm. man. This is, and this is just part of that. That's mm. really good for everyone to do. Okay, maybe we're going to um, now put in some of the rest of the veg. Yep, okay. So we'll get some of the, these caps again in. Yep. Get them in there. Oops, bit of sorry red. about the fingers. Bit of red. Yes, but I did yep. wash my hands. Bit of red, bit of green. Yep. Yeah. Get the green in. A little bit more. Here we go. It's magic, isn't it? Isn't it? It's really great. And the yeah. bean sprouts. Do that a little bit of a stir around. It's starting to look rich now. It does. Yeah. I mean, this is a really great. And, and you can see oils appearing. 
Yeah, that's just a little bit coming out of the meat, Mary. Yeah, that's the yeah. juices, the juices of the of the meat. Hmm. And lastly, we'll put in some of these. Uh, uh, magic mushrooms. Oh, magic. Yes. Will we get it all? Oh, they normal mushrooms. They're normal yeah. ones, yeah. yeah. But not, not, not the magic one. <laughs> You're the magic cook, man. But they yeah. are magic for your body. Yeah, yeah, that's it's true. Just like you are for me. <laughs> that's yeah. right, Mary. Yeah. But we better not tell anybody about that. Mm. It's, oh, it's looking beautiful, darling. Absolutely beautiful. And, I'm and don't forget, Mary. Yeah. What about some chili? You want we to gotta, some chili? We're going to put some of this in. Uh, maybe if you can pass me that. Yeah. There. We're going to put in some more spice. We've got some ginger here. Yeah. So the ginger, we're going to put some ginger in. Mm -hmm. uh, what's that going to do? It's going to uh, give it add, add to the flavor of the, yeah. of the dish. And a little bit of that chili. Ooh. And that's really going to add to the, the dish. What about some? And we've got fresh some chili. sauce. Um, yes, we put some fresh chili in. If yeah. oops. Okay. So wh where does stir fry come from? Is it Oriental? I believe so, Mary. Yes, it's yeah. Oriental, and you know, um, those five million Chinamans can't be wrong, can they? <laughs> Billion, darling. Billion, billion. Yeah, one billion, billion or something like that. Anyway, yeah. Go so ahead. have a look at the colours going through there, now, Mary, and the, and the cooking of that. Isn't that great? It is absolutely. It looks fresh too. It is. It makes very you want fresh. to eat it. Yeah. And lastly, Mary, we're going to put in. We are going to put in the sauce. Let's kick them in sauce. The ah, yeah. Teriyaki sauce. Yeah. You can use any sauce you like, but I like using teriyaki sauce. So make sure when you're cooking a stir fry, put whatever sauce in, non-stick pan. Teriyaki sauce. You're a genius, you are, darling. Just a little to get the flavor. Oh, I can smell the ginger coming out now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I smell that now, Mary. That's magic. Ah, oh, darling. Any chance of you proposing to me? I'll propose we have a good meal. No, <laughs> marry me, for God's sake. <laughs> I want a man who can cook like yeah. that. God, I mean, yeah. that's beautiful. You can smell it, how healthy it is, too. It is, yeah. And I, I can't believe how much um, and, oil has come out of the meat. And Mary, how quick was that? Awesome. Very quick. How quick was that? And you can do that as well. That's how easy it is. And it's healthy. Very healthy. There we go. One chicken stir My God, fry. We keep that's eating meals like that. We could have more babies. Yeah. yeah. We'll be fitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll be the turner. You be the fitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. I can smell it. Darling. Okay. Oh. You've got my heart. Oh, that's really great. Mary, what are we going to do now? We're going to put some in the, in the plate. Have a look at yes, that. Yes, please. Would you like to try some of that? Absolutely. I'd like to um, taste your chicken. Taste my chicken? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, oops, I should try some of that. Yeah. Just a little bit first, in case. Yeah, in case you I don't. Get, I get some of this chicken here. Yep. A little bit of green. Yeah. A little bit of orange. Put that in there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a taste of the chicken. Where's it? A bit of meat. Give me a bit of meat. Yeah. Have a bit of meat. Mmm, good. Isn't that wonderful? Mmm. I'll put mine over here. I like the way all the juices come up, good. Oh, the juices just just running out of there now. And, and of course, the, the sauce works with that as well. I can't believe how simple it is. And, and so, you know, it takes, what, 15 minutes is yeah, done? Yeah, 15 minutes and it's Half an done. hour when you cut up all the vegetables and stuff. And, and like you say, it's number one, it's healthy. It's healthy, it's got great colors. You got your veggies in there, bit of chili, bit of sauce. Isn't that, look at that. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. Look at that, everybody. Look at that. Mini. <laughs> <laughs> Lee dropped it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's a blue. And there's leftovers too. So yes. for seconds. <laughs> I want seconds. What are you? Okay, Mary. Well, let's have After a feed. After having something like this and having a feed, you know what we need next? What, darling? We need to exercise. So why what? don't we go and have a game of golf? Yes, well, let's have a feed. Yes, let's have a feed and then we'll have a game of golf. Okay, darling, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, Mary, <coughs> first thing you need to do when you're dressing the ball yeah. is to make sure that you have the club placed in your hand properly. So yeah. you need to get your left hand. What, what do you mean, dressing the ball? Addressing the ball, Mary, is when you, just before you hit it, you have to 
address the ball. That's golf terminology. Ah, okay. Okay. I've never done this before, you know? Yeah. Okay, well, you need to get the club in your left hand. Yeah. In your left hand. The other yeah. left hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I only got one left hand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hold it like that. Then but how am I going to get into that little hole? Yeah, you'll be putting it once you hit it from here onto the green. Ah, so I'm yeah. aiming for that. Aim for the flag. Okay. Yeah. On to the green, yeah. and then, then the putter will put it in with the putter. Okay. Who, okay. Who's the putter? It's uh, another little stick that you use to put the ball in. Oh, the hole. I have to do it. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. But can I get it? What they call it when they go straight in? Hole in one. Hole. You reckon I can do that? All right, Mary, you can do anything. Okay. Well, let's try it. Eh? Okay. Yeah, okay. Address the balls. Yep. Your feet about a shoulder length apart. Yeah. And then what? Then <coughs> hit down on the ball. Hey? Hit the ball towards six. Okay. Here we go. Wish me luck. <sighs> Here we go. There you go. That's good, darling. Yes. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Your turn now. Okay, I'll show you. Can you beat that? Yes. <laughs> oh I will God, try. I can't, I can't just, believe it. I'll just have to try. Hey? <clears throat> Where do I stand? You stand. You want to knock me out? This is what I call addressing the ball. Mary, getting the club right. Yeah. And you go in there. Hey, you're wriggling your nura. Yeah, you get a little bit of a wriggle up. Oh, you never told me to do that. Oh, didn't I? Oh, well, I was standing on the side. Next time I'll get behind you, Mary, and I'll tell you. And you address the ball. Ho! Oh, right up in the sky! Ah, oh, that's good, good. But I yeah. think I'm closer than you. Yeah. Uh, I just used an I used a nine iron, Mary, because no excuses, done. darling. No excuses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go up and put the ball in. Ah, how do we do that? Put a club. Are oh, we gonna walk there? Yes. Ah, we'll put that club away. Ah, okay. So you have your hands free. Yeah. Oh, make sure I got the same club. No, no, you won't need this uh, here when you get up here. Ah, okay. Okay, we um. We'll and go up now and um, see where the ball is lying. Yeah. And you can put it up in towards the hole. Ah, good idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is good exercise, isn't it? It is great exercise after, after a beautiful meal. Yeah. Nice chicken stir fry. Coming here, walking it off, playing golf. And it's beautiful here. Look, I mean, look, it's yeah, green and it is. fresh air. Yeah. Beautiful scenery. I feel like dancing. Yeah. You know, I can. Yeah. Eh? yeah. What do you reckon? We can need a little bit of music. Yeah. Well, you can do my music. <laughs> eh? No worries. <laughs> I love you, good. You know, I really love you. Yeah. yeah. You, you should leave your wife, you know, and come with me. Oh, uh, you might be a big fight. Eh? A big fight. There will be no fight, darling. Because I'll take you with me. <laughs> yeah. So you're going to do this all around the golf course? Yes, that's right. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, this is this is good fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I look like, who's the closest? We're oh, pretty close. We're both on the green, Mary, which is a, a fantastic shot. Yeah. We're both on the green. My God, have mercy. That was a fluke for me. Oh, I don't know. That's uh, pretty good, I reckon. Oh, good teacher. Good teacher. Yeah. <laughs>